If you arrive in your lab and you have some dilutions to do, you have the DEWEL up, what do you do? Okay, so I, I can show you by introducing you to the new Dilewell Up. As you may know, uh, the Dilewell has been around in the laboratory for almost a decade now. So what we have done is actually to take all the good parts of the Dilewell and to upgrade it to this uh, new and uh, evolved uh, version. So uh, for my dilution, the first thing that I will do is to uh, bring the pump closer to install my uh, tubing set. Okay, the, the pump is not fixed to the diluter. No, Sylvain, so the diluter is a precision scale. And because it's a precision scale, the ISO 7218 uh, told us that uh, it needs to be away from vibration. Yes. So having the ported pump, it allows us to uh, remove the vibration from uh, directly being next to the scale. So we respect uh, the standard this way. After that, I will install my uh, nozzle. I introduce you the finger stop uh, nozzle. So this nozzle was uh, designed specifically to avoid uh, cross contamination. The idea is to uh, really uh, prevent uh, all the touching after the mark, after the ball. Okay. So you can see that naturally, you will not put your hand after this mark. So I just need to put it on my nozzle holder right here and uh, I'm ready to begin my dilution. So we are here, we put our pump, it's installed, we have no, our nozzle. Now we can go with our sterile bag. So we install it in the bag holder. And then as you can see, very easily I installed it and it's uh, open uh, towards me, uh, thanks to the pata well. Uh, so you can avoid all the, you know, the sticky tack uh, that you can find in the laboratory. It's uh, very clean and it uh, opens the bag uh, very easily. Now I have uh, my bag on my DLOL, I put my sample and I can see the weight uh, on the screen, but also here on the uh, high display of the DLOL. Why is the DLOL up it on green? It's green because we said earlier that in the ISO 6887, we have some tolerance in our range of the sample weight, right? And the DLOL is telling us if we are indeed in this range. We know that we are in this range because it turns uh, green, so we know that we can launch our dilution. So I launch my dilution, I can see that the head is activating and that my diluent is dispensing. I have the weight information here at the head level and I know that I finish my dilution once it turns back green. So all the information are on the high display. And if I want to know more about uh, what happened during my dilution, I can see in my screen the, the initial sample weight and I can see that uh, my uh, tolerated uh, maximum uh, deviation is 0.91%. Uh, uh, so I'm well within my range, so my dilution is okay.